In this video, you will learn a universal way to install desktop theme and icons in any Linux distribution regardless of what desktop you use. For example, you can make your Linux Mint Cinnamon look like this. You can turn your Ubuntu GNOME desktop into macOS desktop. KDE Neon with Plasmafy desktop can have this theme. And you can also install this XFCE theme in Manjaro. So, let's have a look how you can install and enable all these themes. And I will start with installing the necessary tools for automatic installation of desktop themes and icons. I will use Linux Mint here just to demonstrate you how to install these tools, but they are available and can be installed in any other Linux distribution. You probably already know this tool, which is called OCS URL. I think this is the simplest and most straightforward way to get desktop theme installed from such websites as gnomelook.org, kdelook.org, xfcelook.org. But if you have ever visited those websites, you will notice that most of them they just mimic the website which is called opendesktop.org. So basically you can access all these themes in opendesktop.org. So let's install this tool and I will show you how it works. You can find all the instructions here, for example, if you use Fedora or OpenSUSE, Arch Linux, everything is available here. I use Linux Mint here, which is based on Ubuntu, so I will follow the instructions for Linux Mint. Actually, I have already installed this tool, but just to demonstrate you how you do it, I will do it again. You open the terminal and paste this command. Then you need to enter your password and install these tools, but as you can see, I already have them installed. Next, you need to download the package and install it using the PKG, or you can use some other third-party tools. So here we have different packages. If you use RPM-based distro, you download any of these, but I use Ubuntu here, which is Debian-based distro. So I will download this Debian package, save it. Next, I will open my file manager, go to downloads. Here it is, and if I right-click it, I can open it with gdeb. So I will open it and I can install it here, but as you can see it's already installed, so it asks me to reinstall. So now this tool is installed and you can start looking for specific theme or icons and install them in your Linux Mint desktop. For example, if you type desktop theme, you will find the list of desktop themes available here. You can click on any of them. And then you will see this menu on the right. And here you can choose what desktop theme you want to install. You can install GNOME GTK theme if you use, for example, Ubuntu GTK theme for XFCE. But we use Cinnamon here, so I will click here on Cinnamon themes. And there are plenty of themes you can try. I usually look here just to find the most popular themes. And as you can see, everyone like this macOS means Cinnamon edition. So let's try to install it. So this is how it looks. And here, on the right, you can click install, select what version you want to install, and then you just click on this install button. You select OCS URL program here, and click open link. It asks me if I want to install this theme, I would say yes. So the installation is successful, the theme is installed. You can click on this open button to see where the theme was installed and you will find that it is installed in home, your username, dot themes. You can install this theme manually. For example, you download this archive and manually instruct it into the folder dot themes, which you can see here. But this program does it automatically. After you have installed this theme, if you use Linux Mint Cinnamon, you go to the settings, or if you use any other Linux distro, you again go to the desktop settings and find where you can change the theme of your desktop. Here we have themes uh, option in Linux Mint, and then we can change these options here. So we have installed the desktop theme, so we can click here. Here is our newly installed macOS theme, and you see the icons have changed here. You can also apply this theme for the buttons. Here it is. And let's see if it's available for the whole desktop. No, it is not available as a desktop theme, but then you need to search for another theme which is similar and install it, which also has a desktop theme. 
But anyway, after you have enabled this theme, you can see this is how the desktop looks like now. So this is one of the way to install any theme in Linux Mint or Ubuntu or like OpenSUSE or Fedora. But there is even better and more universal way to do it. For example, if you go to this open desktop website, it will offer you to install this Blink Store application. And this is like a wrapper of open desktop org website. And you can use it to install any theme and you can even install wallpapers. Like you can, it's a universal tool to install everything related to themes and even beyond. So let me demonstrate how this application works. You download it, save. So when this application is downloaded, you will find it in your downloads folder. Here it is. You right click on it, go to properties, permission, and here you need to allow execute file as program. After you have done that, you double click on this application and it will open you this link store. I don't know if I pronounce it correctly. And from here you can install any application, any desktop theme or any icon theme. But you need to look for it. Unfortunately, I think this menu is not very helpful. But if you search for icons, for example, and you click on any icon theme, the menu here on the left changes and you can see that if you click on these full icon themes, you will find many different icons here. So let's try this Macintosh theme just to match our Mac theme. And then you click here install install and that's it so the theme is installed in your desktop and if you click on this folder you can see what you have installed you can delete them from here or check where they are located and you can see these icons are located in dot local share icons macintosh and if we open our settings again themes icons and then we should find this Macintosh theme. Here it is. So you sometimes need to restart an app to, effect, to apply the effect. And now you see we have this Mac icons and Mac theme. So in some sense, our Linux Mint desktop now looks similar to Mac OS. Uh, P-Link Store is available in any Linux distribution as app image. So an app image is kind of independent self-executable file. So you don't need to install any additional programs. Just need to make that file e executable and start it. And here you can search for different desktop themes, icon themes. For example, if you type desktop here, you will see desktop themes. And then you can install KDE theme, for example, GNOME GTK themes, uh, Cinnamon themes, as we have checked previously. So this is a way to install themes and customize your desktop. But now let me show you what themes I have showed you in the introduction of this video. For example, you may want to mimic these themes in your desktop. And I believe you have already spotted that I use Flat Remix theme in Linux Mint. This is how it looks. And if I go to the settings, just to show you what exactly I have in themes, you can see I have Flat Remix for Windows borders, Flat Remix for icons, Flat Remix for control, Mouse pointer is this theme, as you can see. For example, if you want to make tutorials and have this kind of mouse pointer, you can install this theme again through the P-Link Software Center. And for the desktop, unfortunately, Flat Remix was not very fitting this theme. So I use this Chrome OS theme, which again, you can also install through P-Link Software or in the Cinnamon, you can also install it through this menu here. If you type Chrome, you will see here it is Chrome OS. So this is the theme for Linux Mint. If you want your Linux Mint Cinnamon to look like this, install Flat Remix theme. And if you want to turn your Ubuntu GNOME desktop into Mac OS looking desktop, you can do this with Mojave theme. But first you need to move the Docker to the bottom as I have showed in my video on 50 things to do after installing Ubuntu 2004. So watch that video to learn how to customize your dock here. But if you go to the settings, you will see I have Mojave Lite theme for applications, Mojave Circle for icons, and Mojave Lite theme for the shell. And actually, if you just search for that theme in the P-Link Software Center, 
you will see here is the icon theme and you can also find the desktop theme and you just right click here and install it. It has some variations here but I usually use the top one which is usually also the universal and the most popular theme. After you have installed it you need to install Ubuntu tweaks. I showed how to install it again in my video on 50 things to do after installing Ubuntu and if you open it in the appearance tab you can change all these themes here. So this is the way to make your Ubuntu desktop look like macOS desktop. Using Pilink Software Center you can also change the themes for your Plasma desktop. For example in this case I have installed this QO gear look and feel theme. After you have installed it if you go to your settings and then you need to go to the global theme you will find this theme listed among global themes and you can just activate it from here. Plasma 5 is also a bit better than any other desktop in this regard because you can click here get new global themes and install themes right from here. So this is another way to install themes in Plasma 5. So for the other desktop you need to use this pink store. After you have installed and activated it, it will look like you see it on my screen right now. And finally XFCE theme in Manjaro. XFCE is one of my favorite desktops in terms of customization and I have a separate video where I showed my favorite themes in XFCE desktop. You can click on it here in the card. But in this video I will show you this XFCE theme which you have seen at the beginning of this video. And it is a theme which combines several other themes. For example, if I go to the settings, in appearance, you will see that for style I use this Dracula theme, but for icons I use this Vmix Dark theme. And also there is a Windows border styles, which is also Dracula theme. To install this theme, again, you can open the link software manager, but you need to search for the ant theme and when you click to install this theme here you will see there is Dracula theme available. You just click here and install it. And this will install the Dracula theme and the same way you will search for Vmix theme to install the icons theme. Here it is. You click on this install button and install any variation of this theme or just the standard one which I use. After you have installed those themes, you need to go to the settings in XFCE and change the settings in appearance and in the window manager menu. And you will get this XFCE theme in your Manjaro, Debian or Xubuntu or any other Linux distribution. So I hope this video was helpful and you will now customize your Linux desktop regardless of what distribution or desktop you use. Thank you for watching.